Hey everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Marcia Prince. I'm Jackie Tarleton. And we are the Plant Chicks. <laughs> okay, so today we want to talk about what we do. So what are the Plant Chicks? The Plant Chicks help women get off diets and on a sustainable lifestyle. Jackie and I know what it's like to be on a diet, and it's no fun. It's the word die is in diet. You feel like you're just dying, and you can't adhere to it and sustain it long term. So we show you as coaches how to sustain it long term. I've been plant-based coach for 10 years. I've been plant-based myself for 10 years. Jackie, about four years herself. And this whole session of today is what is coaching? Because people still don't understand what coaching is. And we get people that ask that a lot. So basically coaching is someone that helps you, assist you on your journey. So whatever your journey is, we have to be plant-based health coaches. So we specifically deal with nutrition. There are other coaches that are life coaches and so forth, but we specifically deal with nutrition. And a lot of people, obviously the big boom right now with the plant-based nutrition and being vegan, a lot of people are like, how do I go plant-based? How do I do it? So Jackie and I created a couple different programs for you guys and we are your coaches to cheer you on in your journey. Jackie actually has a background. She's a background as a registered dietitian. So go ahead. Yeah, so I studied nutrition and dietetics in college. I did my dietetic internship, sat for the registration exam, practiced as an RD for many years, and then I ended up getting into coaching, and I'm also a certified well coach. And one of the nice things with coaching versus being like a health educator is we are here to support you and encourage you and hold you accountable on your journey. I am not going to say, this is what you eat for breakfast, this is what you eat for lunch, this is what you eat for dinner, for your snacks, this is the exercise that you're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We come up with a plan, we, meaning me and you, or us and you, you are a huge part of determining what it is, what your ideal life will look like. We're going to hold you accountable, so you're going to set goals as to what you want to do, and we'll talk with you throughout the coaching program and you will literally like be checking in saying you know these, this is what i want to do this week how did i do what went well and what didn't go well where could i have made some changes and how can i step it up to like get myself to the next level one of the things so you guys know i'm in recovery i've been sober for almost eight years may will be eight years and with alcoholism or recovery, whatever it is, it's not just like, okay, I'm sober, I'm done, now next, whatever. It's a lifestyle. And that is the exact same thing with our plant chicks lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You don't just say, oh, you know what? I ate plant-based for today, so now it's gonna hold me for the rest of the week. No, guys, this is a lifestyle. We continuously have to check in and make sure that we're always learning and growing and evolving and nourishing and healing our body through exercise, through proper nutrition, a whole food plant-based diet, community, surrounding ourselves with like-minded people, surrounding ourselves with people that are gonna lift us up and encourage us, prayer, meditation, sleep, like all these things. And this is all involved in the coaching process. So it's not just like a one and done, which we do have, we can set up like a 30 minute coaching call, an hour coaching call. And answer questions. Absolutely. but. Honestly, like getting packages where you're coaching for a couple months to get you set up on this lifestyle to get like some really good practices in place so that you can continue to grow and thrive. We don't really like, we don't encourage you to hire us as a coach and you keep us as a coach for like forever and ever in the rest no, of your life. No. no, we want you to grow and evolve and this will become a lifestyle just as this has become You'll have different us. coaches in life, like you know, like Absolutely. if, like say in business, you'll hire different business coaches in business. Jackie and I have done that same thing too, because you just grow and evolve, and we'll just hire this coach for this part of our business, this coach. So you know, we're here to assist you in, in the small part of your journey. It's not forever, um, and just know this too: we focus not just on the food and you know behaviors, it's the non-skill victories that you're doing, and it's the I daily think. things every single day that you do is what's gonna give you the long-term results. Because a lot of people come to us so like, I wanna lose 10 or 20 pounds. And I'm like, okay, you're leading with weight loss, which means, one, it's not gonna be sustainable. You cannot lead with weight loss. 
we would like to say to our clients, do you want to get your goal weight or your goal lifestyle? Because if you want to get your goal weight and you can get you there, it may not be sustainable, who knows how long, you'll be focused on weight and you'll always be disappointed by the number. Now if you focus on lifestyle, we can get you there, we're your girls. We can help you with non-skill victories and helping you see the wins in the daily. Because a lot of people think they're doing not enough every single day and really they are doing small things daily to win long term. Because at the end of the day, it's not about a workout program or you know your nutrition, which that's a big part of it, but it's about non-skill victories. What are you doing today that's going to affect you tomorrow? It's huge. It's huge. Mindset, we talk a lot about mindset. Diet psychology. On, yes, that's a huge part of the coaching process. And also think about it, athletes. Athletes have so many different kinds of coaches. Businesses, like you said, they have coaches. And if these people who are like uber, the cream to, cream of the crop, like they are so amazing, amazingly successful, if they have coaches, why don't you have a coach? Like it's really, really important. Having a coach gets you over that hurdle. It really, really does. When I did my fitness competition, that's actually how Marcy and I met. I, I had to hire a coach to get me to my fitness competition, to get me through my fitness competition. And it was amazing. And look what happened out of my coaching. I, we ended up creating projects. <laughs> we created a business. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. So coaching, there's so many positives to coaching. and. We really encourage you to invite, like, ask yourself, would a coach help you? Could I use help in getting my health to the next level? What is it that you want out of your life? You always have to be coachable, so I tell everybody. You have to keep an open mind to be coachable because you're not going to know everything there is to know about what you are doing with health and fitness. And let me tell you, I've been in the health and fitness industry 15 years, and things have changed year to year on the daily. I mean, it changes. But what I do know is if somebody promised you a quick, a get quick fix program, get abs in four weeks, that's just bull. It's just not true. It's not going to happen. We are about the slow and steady game that will get you sustainable long-term results. We are all about the long-term results because you guys, this is a lifestyle. Plant Chicks is a lifestyle. It's not a diet. It's not a fad. It's here to stay. It's a lifestyle and it feels so freaking amazing. I know, I'm 45, Jackie's 50, and in our 40s and 50s, we have found this, people are like, oh, the fountain of youth. We're like, no, it's not the fountain of youth, it's a lifestyle. It is about being healthy on the day-to-day -day basis, on the stuff that is consistent, you know, consistency. Somebody said, Jackie, how do you maintain your muscle mass? And she's like, consistency? Like, it's not this by certain bicep exercise that's gonna give her big you know, muscles, that's how she retains it, that's the secret. That's not true. It's her consistency of doing different exercises daily to get there and even rest. Even rest helps her get there. And most importantly, it's the nutrition. Your body is made in the kitchen and it's shaped in the gym. So you've gotta do all those things that Marcy was just talking about. But nutrition, you guys, is so key. And yeah. like people always said that to me, and it was actually when I did the fitness competition, when Marcy was training me, where I could see because you take out a lot of foods and then right before you get on stage, you're adding certain things back and you could see how, you, how it affects your body immediately. How it's about you thought happen. it was gonna take you three months to get sta trained for stage? Oh yeah. Jackie thought it was gonna take her three months for stage and I oh, looked I at her because she was 47, <laughs> gonna turn 48 and I knew someone in her 40s is gonna take about a year. And so I told her, I go, it's gonna take about nine, 10 months, maybe a year for you to get ready for stage. And she was like, yeah, right. And that was like in one in or out the other. I'm like, yeah, I know more than this girl. No. <laughs> for registered dietitian, she thought she knew. Yeah, yeah, but it this one did not. <laughs> yeah, but it takes a long time, one, to build muscle. And then no, yes. regardless of whatever your diet is, whatever you're eating out there, it does take time to build muscle and it takes time to lean out for stage. There's, there's methods to the madness. And I, you know, I was a competitor myself for many years, and then I went. Not just a competitor; she was an IFB bikini <laughs> pro. Like I love how she brags on me. Yes, <laughs> she's amazing. Well, I did win Miss Bikini Universe. Exactly. <laughs> but anyways, I was a pro at one time, and I love training people, especially for the first competition. And it really is humbling when you first train for your first competition that how hard it is it really is from the workouts to the nutrition to being disciplined because what I learned through my bodybuilding days was discipline and that's where I was I had my aha moment like 
shoot, this is the lifestyle, like eating right and working out and sleeping, all drinking enough water, like this is a lifestyle. This is where I changed my life completely and this is where I get interested as being as a coach. And that's where I was like, I want to be a fitness trainer. And that's what I did. I was going to school for nursing and I was doing this fitness thing on the side for fun, but it turned out to be more of a passion mind. Just like Jackie, you know, same thing with her. She loves nutrition as a registered dietitian, but health coaching, what I like about health coaching is people come to you because they want to change your life. Yes. They want to. Because sometimes like a registered dietitian in the hospital, I literally they don't have to, a choice. No, they don't. And I literally would say, this is what you have to do. Like, dietetics has changed a lot over the years and it was more me just telling versus a collaboration and working together. So coaching though is 100% different because like you said, you guys come to us because you actually are interested, you're motivated, yep. you're ready to make some changes and that is key. And that's one of the things too, we have a lot of people calling and saying, oh, inquiring about coaching, but we don't take just anyone and everyone. You have to be willing, you have to be motivated, you have to be ready to make changes because we are not, we can't pour in all that effort. It takes a lot of energy to coach. Yes. So we, it's a whole, it's an interview process. It's a whole say. process, but we, we do at the, at the end of the day, we love coaching and we love that yeah. you come to us and you want help and we love that we can help you break through your barriers because I think all of us have barriers, even Jackie and I, okay. we go through little shticks of ourselves that we have to like, we're constantly, we're still get working over with yourself. one another on coaching. We are yeah. 100%. Jackie will remind me of stuff that I need to like get my shit together about. <laughs> and vice <laughs> versa. <laughs> yes, we'll bleep that out. <laughs> and then um, same thing with her. I mean, we just kind of remind each other like, hey, we need to get this together or you know, we need to do that. The same thing with business, where we do the same thing with our business as well. So whether it's health coaching or our business, we help each other through as health coaches, which I think is kind of cool that I have a built-in health coach as a partner. I know, ah. it's amazing. <laughs> it's like a win-win. It is, because she, she can spot stuff. I can spot stuff on her and she oh, can spot yeah. stuff on me, so you can't get by. But we can help you get to yours. Like, what is a typical, um, let's say, coaching call? Because people always say, like, well, what do you do if I call you, what goes on? Yeah, so this is good. Like. So Marcia mainly works with fitness competitors. I will work with people who are wanting to make changes. Sometimes there's a health issue, but not always. Sometimes they're just, they want to just help up their life. So my initial consultation can take up to 90 minutes. There's a whole health history questionnaire that's filled out. And we go through like your health and what your goals are. And we set goals right away. 30 day goals, 90 day goals, and then week goals for next week. We can talk weekly for like the first four to six weeks and then we can start spacing it out a little bit and like we can start spacing it out there but literally every single time we talk we're going to have aha moments you're going to have aha moments and you're going to create goals for yourself that will push you just a little bit but also that are attainable and it's anything related to health and wellness just because i am a plant-based pro 100 percent whole food plant-based doesn't mean that you have to be a whole food, a 100% whole food plant based. Right. But one of the things that you will do when you work with either of us, you will be eating more plants, bottom line. Right. And, and a lot of our people, because they were like, oh, I can go vegan, or I can, I'm not going to be on your level. You guys run on a level. You don't have to be vegan. We're not saying we're the, the top of the creme, the vegan. We're not even going we're there. We're not even here to teach you to go vegan. We're, we're not to teach you to go Vegan is ethical. We're here plant-based. It's yeah. nutritional. So Jackie and I just want to get that off the plate. Yes. We're not here to tell you to go vegan at all. We're here to teach you how to eat whole food plant-based okay. and how to incorporate more plant-based foods into your life. So that's what our coaching is about. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? No. Is there anything else? No, I think we're good. I think we got some people that we're going to be coaching soon. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And if you have any questions, make sure you write them in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel.